Well, hello everyone, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars Throwback Thursday, and this time it is on the Wookiee Catamaran from 2005. Okay. So on the front of the box here, you see Lego Lego, Star Wars Lego. You see with the 2005 Darth Vader border with the lava Mustafar, of course. And you see a picture of the set that comes within, and also window for the try me feature for the light up minifigs which is some sort of setback of Lego but we'll get to that later but you can see recommended ages 8 and up set number is 7260 has 360 or 3676 pieces the lineup and do not and you're not supposed to wash Luminara undully or throw out or put in water and then on the back, see the same border again, and the couple features of it, and a kind of couple of crazy looking alternate builds, which which probably gave up until 2006 or 7. It was probably 6 when they gave up on the alternate builds, and yeah. And then add for some of the other 2005 episode 3 sets. And on to the booklet, or instruction booklet, uh, which is same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, add for the Star Wars, uh, Lego Star Wars video game from the time. Uh, shop at home and Lego club thing. Add for some of the other uh, episode 3 sets from 2005. And then the last steps. So on to the minifigure selection is starting out with uh, what's most important with this is Luanara Unduli. So, so this is probably like one of the only couple versions of it that they have done since or have done since until about 2016 or so. But I guess there were a couple other versions, but in the creepy Clone Wars style. Oh, hang on a sec. Okay, there we go. So, anyway. So, the front torso print and face print of which all kind of exclusive to this set is. And sorry that the cape's kind of worn out and all. But as for the back part of which, which is where it works out and all. But also, a little thing to note is Shia, which is a light up minifig, which they did barely much for this time, where you can like tap the head and the lightsaber lights up, but unfortunately on mine, it, the batteries wore out as of now, and also you can't replace the batteries, which is a major setback, but, and if you can, if you're looking to remove the lightsaber, well, you can't, it's all, it's all stuck together, and you can't rotate the hand or anything, and you can put a stud on it, well, kind of a bad innovation to them, but, at least it was kind of a setback moment in time. But as the head part, hat, and headdress can come off, obviously. But then suddenly, but also with the clone turbo tank released at this time, where they did with Mace Windu, is release a version that had it, but without the light up feature, which was kind of an interesting fact. And yeah. And then next up is Chewbacca, which same version as it's been since 2000, or at least until with 2014 and all. Like the crossbow and same piece, same everything. So this was probably one of the only ways to get Chewbacca in the episode 3 line. 
and at the time. And then next up, I have a Wookiee Warrior. That would, same as from the Wookiee Attack set, and, but holding a black spear piece and, as he, and also same detailing and some nice prints on the front. And kind of creepy with the, like, the narrow eyes, but at least until with that one in the 2014 gunships or droid gunship set. So I hope they do some more of it in the future. And next up, oh, whoops, is Yoda. Oh, which is kind of similar to the ones from the 2002 episode 2 line. But the like, headpiece is the same, and at least some of it quite the same. And I think this is the first time having the like necklace print to it, and so, well. and lastly is who you get two of in the set are a couple of Kashyyyk clone troopers to that, and yes, they do come with the blasters that are the megaphone blasters, but they're on the little speeder included with this one. And yes, these the print of which done quite all right, but the helmet of which does kind of in line more with it because at this time Lego was starting to pick up momentum and everything in these sets are is kind of aligns more with the more modern line of Lego Star Wars and it has some back torso print of which which quite well done to that but the helmets of which kind of thing where it's just a plain black head and there's a slight bit of a clearness to it. Oops. Well, I'd be fine if all the modern day stormtroopers had that rather than the angry clone face and just keep that keep the angry clone face for the clone troopers in there. And so for the first build of which is this like clone swan speeder or some kind. There it is. Yeah, for the front area which which does have a few rods acting as gun turrets and is like rounded bricks. Kind of interesting. And, but moving along, got some of the like jagged slopes with some prints to it and you can like fold them down and whatnot. Also kind of similar to the like other versions they've done. And also do have a pair of seats to sit your clone troopers onto and also the like studs to like hold their blasters in. And as for, you have that like wheelie piece, but has a clear blue dish acting as a like little thruster to it. And on the bottom, of which does have the like little hover things, but in tan, which kind of a bit suiting to the shorelines of Kashyyyk. And of course, this of which they did redo a couple times, like the 2010 Swamp Spear and the 2014 uh, Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack, of which, but of course, it was a lot smaller because for fitting as a battle pack, of course. So I wish, I hope they can redo that, but this, or do another version of this, but also as a battle pack, or just as a Kashyyyk set in general. And however, unlike with those ones to have one of those like a uh, ratchet clicked bricks acting as a top part of it or I guess I'm kind of wrong but uh, yeah, at least good build to it yeah. and for the main part of it is the Wookiee catamaran itself which quite cool designs added to it Like as for some of the like large part of bits of it, we do use a lot of those like other curved slopes to it, and also interesting uh, technique with the like curve in kind of designs with some of those as well. But like as for this back part, which which does have a like bomb dropping feature, like look under it and once you pull the tan ball joints it's supposed to release them oh, 
or is supposed to pull them out and then drop down. Oh, which is a pretty cool feature. At least, at least gives it some good play value, of course. That's the back area, which holds a few of the like dome pieces, but in a bronze color. Although it does look like something from Mega Bloks, but at least it, but it's Lego, but something I, which I don't think they've ever used since. Same with the like uh, engine pieces in this odd silver color, also looking like Mega Bloks, but at least good seeing it in Lego for once. I hope they do that to do so again, but yeah. And as on the top engine of which, some good nice builds to it with and a couple of Technic esque pieces that I, I don't think they use very often. Not sure if they still use them today, but and also a like tri area kind of piece with all this going for it. And also two propellers in which to get it flying around and all. And of course. And there's another tan ball joint is where I pull it and then the like, spring low launcher goes fly. And I think this is kind of the only time the missile was ever in this color rather than gray and black. And yeah. And let's see. And well, we do have another. And also on this, this does have enough space to fit all four figures onto it. Or, although you can add as many Wookiee char uh, warrior characters as you can uh, to help reenact the battle like a sheik. Yes, now I'll set me ready to join the clone troopers and all. So now on to the final verdict on this set. So overall, I think this is which a uh, pretty cool set for the pretty cool for the time of 2005. Like, like one of the only times of getting the light up figures, which was a bad innovation to them, and yeah. but also so first time of getting one of the clone tanks in sets until a couple other sets over the, over the years and also only time of getting a special wookie vehicle so which was never before we done so and lego if you're watching this video please redo this set of which it would be quite nice it helps change up the release cycle of star wars of course and for those of you who still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those who haven't, well, good luck getting it. Well, good luck getting it, like, on eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.